Hey, I want to talk to you today about another aspect of loving our neighbor. You know, if you look in the book of Acts, in the 20th chapter, 35th verse, the Apostle Paul actually quotes Jesus. I mean, it's in the red in the book of Acts. Uh, he quotes Jesus, he says, it is better to give than to receive. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's uh, getting towards the end of the year. Christmas is coming. This guy's fixing to beat me up about money. Uh, I'm having a hard time anyway getting presents for the family, taking care of work, taking care of bills, getting all these decorations taken care of. Let's just forget about the money for a minute, okay? Obviously, it's more blessed to give money than to receive. I think everybody understands that concept. But I want to talk to you about giving of your time and your talents, loving our neighbor. I think we probably know somebody that's got some needs. They've got some needs that are maybe pretty big to them, but may not be so big to you. So I want to challenge you today to test our Savior's comment to see if it is really more blessed to give than to receive. I would challenge you to find a neighbor who has a need. Maybe they have something they need done around the house. Maybe they, need, maybe they have a financial need. Maybe they need uh, just someone to talk to. Maybe they need a friend. And I would, uh, I would just challenge you to try to meet that need uh, over the next few weeks. And just to see if you did not experience exactly what our Savior said. And I tell you what, let me know how it goes. Because I think if we understand this concept, it's better to give than to receive. We'll go a lot further down the road and understanding what it means to love our neighbor.